responsibility, if they had any responsibility, if they showed any responsibility in a society, they would stop and de stop destroying indigenous rights, stop polluting our planet, and they would shut down line three. Hey, Wells Fargo, you can't hide, we can see your greedy side. Hey, Wells Fargo, you can't hide, we can see your greedy side. Hey, Wells Fargo, you can't hide, we can see your greedy side. May your money and our values be alive. To life and the future, we are loyal. When we stop the flow of money, then we stop the flow of oil. To life and the future, we are loyal. When we stop the flow of money, then we stop the flow of oil. Stop the money pipeline. We are here to express our anger towards Wells Fargo. So much has been lost already because of greed, because of this obsession with financial profit. We cannot take it anymore. Our planet cannot take it anymore. When I say deep fun, you say line three. Deep fun. 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 Line three. Line three. DC wants to acknowledge that we live, work, and stand on the ancestral territory of the Acostan and Piscataway peoples, and we want to acknowledge that this today's action builds on a long campaign by indigenous water protectors and other activists in northern Minnesota who are leading the fight to stop the toxic Line 3 pipeline that Wells Fargo is paying for. We are here today to say loud and clear that if we want a livable 
future. We must keep it in the ground. But it's not hard, Wells Fargo. Keep the oil in the ground. You have the power to do this. After all, it's your money that's being used to dig it up. And keep your damn promise, too. We're talking about how you say we're committed to being net zero. Well, that's a pretty piece of PR because you're also funding the Enbridge Line 3 pipeline. And that's a nasty piece of work. Line 3 is a catastrophe. Literally, a climate and humanitarian catastrophe. There's no nice words for a pipeline that will release as many greenhouse gas emissions as 50 coal-fired power plants. A pipeline that violates indigenous sovereignty. A pipeline that threatens the drinking water of millions of Americans. There are no nice words for Line 3. And there shouldn't be. So Wells Fargo, quit funding it and keep the damn oil in the damn ground. Today, May 7th, we join an international day of action. Our protest isn't just one oil spill outside of one bank. It's rebels in over 70 U.S. cities. In countries from France to Costa Rica to Sierra Leone. We are calling for Line 3 to be defunded. Today we stand in solidarity with the indigenous water protectors and other activists in northern Minnesota. Over the course of their long campaign, 240 people on the front lines have been arrested. It's interesting that Wells Fargo claims to have social responsibility because the pipeline it's funding is already causing immense suffering for the indigenous people whose homes and lands are in its path. Not only is Line 3 an environmental catastrophe for the lands and waters that indigenous people rely on, that we all rely on, but pipelines are directly linked to the trafficking, disappearance, rape, and murder of Native American women. The brutality inflicted upon these women is a direct result of the temporary housing facilities, or man camps, that are used to house the mostly male workers building the toxic pipelines. So tell us, Wells Fargo, how socially responsible do you feel now? This is a bank that is accelerating climate breakdown. A bank that is destroying the environment. A bank that is endangering current and future generations. A bank that is violating human rights. And a bank that is bulldozing over indigenous sovereignty. This is a bank that invested $223 billion in fossil fuels since the Paris Agreement. This is a bank that needs to put its money where its PR speak is and start acting green instead of just talking green. You're making a killing off fossil fuels, off people, and off the planet. Enough is enough. Deep on line green. Deep on fossil fuels. Deep on the money pipeline. When I say defund, you say line three, defund! 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 visual representation of what they're doing to our planet. Luckily, this is just corn starch and water and dye, but the tar sand oil is nothing like that. It's extremely toxic material that will endanger all of our lives. Hey, 
Should I write it? Yeah, I think so. Do you care about having clean water to drink? Woo!
And see how it attaches. Nice. However you can. However you can. It's not fragile. Yeah. You know, the wing set up to a pretty good feeling. So a can? Kissing card tricks, big cribs and cars, bitch. It's making something out of nothing through this hard shit. <laughs> Josh, so he can give it to his bosses. All right. All right. So thanks a lot, Josh. 
Um, and we're gonna go visit some of your other colleagues and just want you to know that if uh, if we don't hear a response from your CEO, we're gonna we're gonna have to come back, okay? All right, thanks a lot. Good job, Silas. Thank you, sir. She said, she's on fire, we gotta keep on, keep on And this, 
And what we're seeing here with law enforcement actively partnering with the corporations that are destroying our communities and destroying our planets, that's not new. That's something we've been seeing for a long, long time. But we know that the same systems that are killing people on our streets, that are creating a system of mass incarceration in our streets, that are occupying our communities, they're also defending Enbridge and the other pipeline companies. And they're working directly with those companies, and in some cases getting paid directly by those companies to terrorize water protectors in indigenous communities. We're fighting to protect our water. We're fighting to protect our land. Wells Fargo is covered in front 
with police officers. Instead of listening to the community and hearing about just how destructive Line 3 in northern Minnesota is and why they need to make a commitment to not fund it, they essentially militarized downtown D.C., covered the front of the bank branches with police because they don't want to hear defund Line 3. It defund line three. Today, it's not just Washington, D.C. that's sending this message to the financial institutions. It's not just us out in front of Wells Fargo telling them that until they make a public commitment to not fund line three, to not fund the company building at Enbridge, we will be back across the country. And in multiple countries, there's over a hundred cities who are protesting out in front of bank branches to send the same message, defund line three, or we will keep coming back. That's right. <laughs> and line three is a disaster of a pipeline. It is destroying communities. It is poisoning waterways. And it, it is such a destructive project that a set of our local activists here actually went up to Minnesota to join the front lines. I want Daniel to come here for a second, talk a little bit about line three and what he saw when he joined the front line protest to really help stop the construction. About a month ago, I went up to Northern Minnesota with comrades from Washington, DC. We went up because there's been a call for people to go up north and stop this pipeline. The Line 3 pipeline crosses over 200 bodies of water, including the Mississippi River. Can you imagine an oil spill in the Mississippi River? Can you imagine what that would do? Can you imagine the water in, in Minnesota, clean drinking water, being destroyed by Line 3? It's obvious when we're up there that this is about banks, this is about their profit, this is about the police as well. Enbridge is paying the police to come in to arrest people. They have been paying Enbridge, Enbridge has been paying the police to get riot gear for protesters. So this is all connected. Wells Fargo is here being protected by police. Up north, it's the construction sites being protected by the police. It's the same thing going hand in hand. When I was up there, I had the chance to be on the 30th anniversary of, the, of an oil spill from the original Line 3 pipeline, the one that this new Line 3 pipeline is supposedly replacing. There's the largest inland oil spill in US history 30 years ago. And the police arrested 50 plus people for coming together to honor and respect and mourn that 30 years ago, there's this gigantic oil spill. It happened once with Line 3, it will happen again with Line 3. If Line 3 is built, it will spill again. And we'll get the another largest oil spill in U.S. history. I want to kind of give a second for Juniper, who is from North Carolina, who has spent all day marching with the banner, to send a message to Wells Fargo. <laughs> Wells Fargo, you need to defund Line 3. Do you realize how destructive it is? It's destroying people's lives. Have some sympathy. Be fun line three. Come on. We are going to come back if they don't make this commitment. This is the moment that they need to step up and send a message that they are not for climate destruction. They're not for community destruction. They're not for water destruction. Water is life. If we have an oil spill in the Mississippi River, the amount of impact it will have, not just in Minnesota, but across the U.S. is massive. But the greed that drives Enbridge is out of control. And we need to make sure that Wells Fargo hears that we're going to hold them accountable until they publicly say, we will not give a dime to Line 3. We'll not give a dime to Enbridge. We will keep coming back. We will keep shutting this place down until the CEO and the higher ups in the greedy bank get really clear that they are not going to fund Line 3. This planet's not for sale. Your pipeline plan will fail. This planet's not for sale. Your pipeline plan will fail. This planet's not for sale. Your pipeline plan will fail. This planet's not for sale. Your pipeline plan will fail. This planet's not for sale. Your pipeline plan will fail. This planet's not for sale. Your pipeline plan will fail. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna read out what our friends here from
from XR DC are leaving an oil message to Wells Fargo. If you like oil so much, we've left you some. It says, stop line three. Stop line three. Stop.